Welcome back to the channel guys. Today we're talking about Sunset Trail to Big Laguna Trail Loop. This trail is really fun, really easy. It's relatively flat. However, as you'll see in the B-roll, we caught a magnificent morning on a weekend. Beautiful, very rare that you get this foggy sort of woodland photography feeling and, and ability here in San Diego. Just beautiful trail. Let's cut into the B-roll. We'll come back and talk about how to get there, trail details, everything you need to know. Welcome back to the channel guys. Before I jump into anything, shout out to Kayla for being just a great hiking partner. All right, let's jump into those details. Sunset Trail to Big Laguna Trail Loop is a 6.7 mile loop trail located near Pine Valley. It's in Mount Laguna. It features beautiful wildflowers. The trail is rated as moderate, primarily used for hiking, walking, running, nature trips. Dogs are able to use this trail but must be kept on a leash. There's a couple of uphills that are slightly more challenging, but I would say over 90% of this trail is just flat. There's nothing really moderate about this trail. Very easy, this shouldn't discourage you. 6.7 miles might seem like, oh my gosh, yeah, it's a long walking distance, but this is a relatively easy trail. It's very enjoyable. As I mentioned, 6.7 miles, elevation gain is 731 feet, route type is a loop. All right, let's talk about how to get here. Pretty easy on Google Maps, it is the Sunset Trailhead. So you're on Sunrise Highway, and it is the Sunset Trailhead. Parking for this trail is very easy to find. You won't miss it, you'll be driving, and it's the first part of Sunrise Highway where you can park on both sides of the road. There'll be porta potties you'll see the trail at the left-hand side. It's always a, a well, it's a well-known trail, so there's always a good amount of people on this trail, but it's very open, so you never feel like 
you know, you do in the city of San Diego where there's a ton of people and you're just like, man, it's very open. You'll never feel like it's crowded or anything like that. Now let's talk about those trail details. Again, very easy flat trail. So you'll start here and you'll just go straight. You'll go straight for a while until you hit sort of this first little piece of water right here. This is the first part where you get some really nice view of the mountains off in the distance with the water. So if you want to shoot both, this is a great spot to do that. Keep that in mind. You'll make this right and you'll come around the loop and then here is where you get to Big Laguna Lake. Now one of the things I want to mention here is there's a lot of different trails. I've done this trail in many variations of it over the years. So for this trail you want to stick to the left hand side of Big Laguna Lake. Awesome spot if you got some clouds in the day or whatever it is. Beautiful spot for photography, take advantage of it. You'll keep going and again relatively flat, just finding great places to take some photos. You go straight and then you'll end up in a point where you make this sharp U-turn. And if you make a right, you'll end up sort of at the Penny Pines Trailhead. Uh, if you don't know what that is, make sure you watch my Garnet Peak via the PCT video. The longer hike to Garnet Peak, it's the same trailhead opening, it's just a different way to get to it. So you wanna make that left, you'll go back. Now, when you go back, this is where the elevation is. This is where you start to go up. This is a spot, few spots here where you're kind of like, man, I'm a little winded. But it's nothing too bad, you'll keep going. And uh, we went on a special day, as I mentioned, it was extremely foggy, extremely windy, but it was beautiful. I enjoyed it so, so much. Um, so the views that you saw on the B-roll are gonna be a little different to what you see when you go more than likely, because it probably won't be as foggy as it was on this specific day. Lots of people on their bikes, something to be aware of. And you'll come back to the same spot you started, which is where this little sort of lake pond, I don't know what you want to call it is, and uh, you'll make then a right since you're coming from the north to go back around. Now you can do that or just loop the same way you came back around. Now the variation we did, the only part where we varied from the trail in the B-roll is here we went back the regular way and then we went right around this way instead. And the reason for it was just to show Kayla uh, the, the cool looking barn, sometimes you can find some horses or you can kind of just take some really pretty pictures at. Again, pretty easy hike, relatively simple, very calm, relaxing. With that said guys, make sure you follow me on Instagram at instagram.com slash beautyiswild with two eyes. The YouTube channel at youtube.com slash beautyiswild with two eyes. And the website at www.beautyiswild.com with two eyes. Stick around, got so many more trails to cover and uh, I'll see you here next week.